ओके वेलकम टू माई स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज मेनली फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ वी आई टी एंड इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हु आर लर्निंग द कोर्स ऑन पी पी जी एंड ई सी जी फोटो प्लिथिसमोग्राफी एंड ई सी जी एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो एप्लीकेबल फॉर द मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स हु आर डूइंग द कोर्स ऑन एडभांस न्यूरो सैंस मेनलि ऑन इभक्ट पोटेंशियल सो हाउ टू डिसप्ले इट हाउ टू व्हाट एवर द डेटा वी आर वी उल बी कैपचरिंग हाउ टू डिसप्ले इट एंड वेन वी नीड सम फार्दार प्रसेसिंग अफ द डेटा सो वी उल बी यूजिंग सिरियल कम्युनिकेशन to read the data and the same thing we will be taking to matlab workspace we will be doing uh, the further processing or the calculation required uh, to uh, post process the data and finally how to display it so basically this this lecture is for that only okay so first let me open the because here <coughs> most of the students are familiar with arduino id so that's why i am preferring this but for adc for the adc configuration we will be using our customized code based on the uh, each register so that already i have uh, taught you so hope you understood that so here is very here is a very simple code here i have used only library function so what i am doing so just this is the code very simple code for this particular the com port for this device the hardware particular that code is uh, port is com3 you can also find out the co uh, port uh, from the device manager where your hardware is connected so here we are defining the <coughs> baud rate okay <coughs> then we are simply printing the value we are reading the um, analog channel 0 and analog channel 1 this value we are reading and it is printing to serial port you can see if i open the serial port here new anyway, my pc is very slow you see if i uh, run the serial port so this will be like this it is floated okay i have not connected anything there so this is a very very simple and basic code so i have connected the uh, uh, i have connected the microcontroller like this you see this is the things i have connected okay this i have connected so now now i am coming to the matlab code line by line i am explaining first i am clearing the screen okay then if any this comport is some this comport is or some instruments are already connected so we are deleting that connection so this is the delete and the instrument find it is finding the instrument which is connected if it is already connected so that it's deleting and i am defining a variable s2 as i told this hardware is connected to com3 and the baud rate i have defined 9600 and the data 
bit data length is 8 bit okay so i am defining defining another uh, variable integer is a real is equal to 0 okay then i am starting a for loop say i used to print 10 samples okay then the next command is i am opening that port which is defined by the s2 then i am reading the line using the, this command f scanf and as you have seen that all the data which is coming to that particular serial port that is separated by comma so i am splitting this entire line and storing in a variable c which is a cell okay so definitely as it is comma separated and you have seen the last element also it will be considered which is null so definitely the length of the uh, cell will be 4 so i have if I, I have given one because sometime what happened it may not be due to some garbage value or if the connection is out or something then some unwanted value will come so i am giving the condition only if the length of the cell is 4 that time all the elements all the cell element i am splitting and storing in one variable okay that is b1 b2 b3 correct then i am giving another condition if the element the array element the number of the means the array element if not is equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 then i am not taking that value because it's there is some problem or some hardware communication failure momentary failure so i am taking the previous value okay whatever the previous value i am taking that one and the same i am plotting and once the plotting is over i am closing the port particular port i am closing and giving a pause of 100 millisecond means every 100 millisecond i am reading that value now if the elements are not is equal to zero then simply what i am doing i am this is arbitrary operation just i have shown on mathematical operation i am just adding this b1 and b2 and same thing is uh, plotting in a graph okay this is all about the code even though this this code i will be uh, it will be given in the uh, the link for the code will be given in the uh, video description box you can see this code from there okay so i will first read the first 10 samples so let us run and check what is happening anyway my you see now every 100 millisecond the data which is captured from the adc it is keep on updating okay arbitrarily i given a uh, 10 samples you can increase the sample also now let us see if we want to see these things in a gui so for that command is how to design that gui this is gui d if you put and enter the one blank page will appear okay so here this is the graph so you can put the graph here okay and this is that suppose if you want to enter some value 
you can use this and this is the button if you can take the value from that particular uh, text box so you can use this so this is the way to make the uh, uh, GUI okay so for saving the time I have already made I will show you that just so after making this few lines are to be added okay so you see this area this area I am adding I am defining the port same thing I am defining and what I am doing you see this is the edit where I will be entering the number of samples I want to print so this area I am writing these three lines this handles you see these are the arguments these are these are the argument of the edit function okay the text box which i have made in the gui so here this i am using this argument this handles dot, dot data one it is get h object because all the data which will be coming in uh, through serial port that is a string so I am receiving that okay but for mathematical operation whenever we are going to plot and all these things you need to convert into real numbers so that's why this string to double I am using that that command and that I am using in GUI data so now if you, if you see the, this this code the same thing I have used here also you see this is the global variable I have declared and I am disconnecting all other instrument which are already connected there and this is the variable I am initializing and I am plotting the graph till the sample which I need then I have defined the port then I am opening the port I am reading the line I am splitting the li uh, line to a cell which is separated by comma and here I am using as you have seen there are the maximum length of the cell will be 4 so sometime if it is not able to read all the element then the program will return some error so to avoid that I have used here this only will perform when the complete line is read then I am splitting the cell and converting to real numbers and then if the elements are not zero if it is zero then i am taking just the previous value and plotting and closing the file port and giving a pause giving a time safe time to read it again but if it is not equal to zero then the two adc value the two channel the uh, the, ad, the the value received from the two channels of the adc that i am adding and i am plotting that value i am using a line width 2 to thicken the graph i am turning on the grid then i am the defining the channel width so x this is the x axis so it will go from 0 to the number of sample I entered and as, as I am adding the value 2 channel value and it's a 10 bit ADC so let us it is 2048 okay then I am closing and so on <coughs> okay 
so now if i run this code let us see what what is the things coming you see this is the empty one so say i want to see the 50 sample okay now if i hit that you see now it is start to plot now if i connect that a particular channel say i am connecting one channel to ground you see it is coming down then another channel i am connected to 5 volt so the channel a1 i am connecting to 5 volt say it is jumping okay then another channel also if i if i ground another channel so it will be both the channel will be zero so it will be giving the value nearly to zero see in a due to due to some this is a connection failure okay because it was connection was failed okay anyway my uh, i am sorry my com port is not detecting so it need uh, restart so anyway uh, you can try this code by your own and uh, give me the feedback so uh, thank you so much thanks a lot for your patience take care bye